tomorrow, kids in grades K through three will be walking through these doors for some the first time in a year, while for others tomorrow is going to be their first true day of in person learning. I got his Spanish stuff after nearly a full school year of virtual learning. Taisha Delimos is excited. Her two boys can step foot inside the classroom. It's been tough for my kindergartner because he's a social butterfly. Um, and just basically being confined in the room during school is a nightmare. And then my my four year old who's autistic, trying to get him to sit at a computer, like it's the worst. As for COVID nineteen concerns, she says she doesn't have any. I know the teachers are going to do their best to um, keep the kids safe. As for the teachers preparing their return, there have been concerns expressed about safety. One special education teacher tells WUSA 9 she even quit over her fears of contracting the virus. As of this week, the district reports more than 25,000 staff names have been submitted to get the COVID vaccine. Nearly 12,000 of those vaccinations have been completed. Tomorrow, things will look different, but Delamo says she's relieved her kids can be a part of it. I'm just excited for them to just have a little bit of experience. MCPS says if tomorrow's return of students is successful, the phasing in of other groups could be expedited. That is definitely something that we will keep an eye on. In Silver Spring, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.